Well, hello there, fair strangers of the internet, and welcome back to my channel. It has been 10 million years. Time is moving terrifyingly fast. I've been back in the country for three months now. I had a birthday in that time. Other than shaving and bleaching my hair, what has been going on? Well, that is exactly what I'm here to tell you today. So about two weeks after getting back, I landed myself as a job working full-time as a barrister for a popular, well-known coffee company that is global. I'm sure you can guess which one. I've been getting my life together. I've been hitting the gym, which is something that I've not done for a couple of years now. I've been going almost pretty religiously and it feels very, very good to be on top of my fitness. I've been saving a little bit of money in between tattoos, which has been more frequent than probably is necessary. But you know what? You've got to do what you've got to do. Got this nice new baby since being back in the country. Bloody love him. And I'm going to get you a little bit more skin. Look at that. She's not quite healed yet, but she's doing well. And I'm actually on my way to get another one today. I'm terrible, honestly. Give me two seconds of free time and all I do is get tattooed. So obviously, being at home is delightful. It's good to have all the home comforts. Uh, I miss travel so, 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 so much. Waking up in a beautiful place every day, meeting new people and doing exciting, adventurous things. I'm currently in the suburbs of Coventry, which is the armpit of England. There is literally nothing exciting going on in the whole of the West Midlands. Um, so it's difficult for me being here, having come from being in the most exciting places in the world. But it is nice to be home and I am looking forward to the next chapter of my life, which I am hoping will involve moving to London. Uh, London is the last place in the UK that I want to tick off my box before emigrating permanently never to return to warmer climates. I'm already dreading the English winter despite this glorious summer heat wave we are having. But London is a lot of fun, there's a lot going on down there, there's a lot of opportunities, there's a lot of gay people which is something that I'm still not experiencing despite being back in the UK. Obviously I spent the last year creating content for you guys and for myself and I really enjoyed doing the whole video production side of things, getting involved with my creative passion for media and I think that's now something that I want to take forward into a full-time career. So I'm looking in the media space but as we all know it is very very competitive. I am not formally educated in that uh, space and I obviously don't have any professional work experience when it comes to video production. So getting people to pay attention to me, getting people interested in me as a candidate is not that easy based on my CV alone. My biggest selling point is the face. There's the whole unpaid internship scandal. Now in the UK, unpaid internships are in fact illegal, uh, but it doesn't really matter because so many people put them on anyway and they just don't care. Um, some of them are expecting like three plus years experience to do a job for free in central London with not even travel provided. It's just insanity and it's supposed to be an entry level position and a way into the company, a way into the industry. And I just can't wrap my head around it. It's so frustrating uh, to see that sort of thing because how am I ever going to get a job unless I can afford to live in central London without any kind of income? It makes me sick. This is what causes the wealth and capital divide and means that only rich people can work in the media and creative industries. Big no-no from me. It really is a crazy time to be in your 20s. Being in your 20s is just wild. Um, when you're like 18 or like 16 or whatever, you think you're mid-20s, oh my gosh, I'm mid-20s now, okay? Uh, you think being in your mid-twenties is the time when you are just gonna have all of your shit together and you know You've got this good job and you've got a house and you're on the way to saving up for a mortgage You're probably in this happy healthy long-term relationship and all this stuff uh, When in actual fact none of that is true for me I am back living with my mom working a minimum wage job and I am a single now as I have ever been um, So you have this kind of crisis of external pressure Meanwhile, people around you are starting to get married and have kids and skyrocket their careers. But it is important to remember that we are all on our own timelines, you know? And just because I'm not doing a career now doesn't mean in a year's time I won't be very happy in a career living somewhere fantastic. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But it is a crazy time. And I think mid-20-year-olds 
uh, kind of underestimate how crazy this period of your life is. There is this expectation that you are going to have your life together by this point and when you don't necessarily have everything that you thought you would have, it can send you a little bit wild and I don't think enough people really talk about it. Enough people, people always put the best parts of their lives on social media but no one really talks about how actually it can be a little bit shitty a lot of the time. And what does it even mean to have your life together anyway? Is my life apart because I don't live somewhere else? I don't know. Now I realise this video is all over the place. I'm just having a chat with you about what's been going on in my life, what's been going on in my head. Um, because I actually did have a couple of people, at least a couple of people, on social media and on YouTube tell me that they miss my videos and they wish I would come back to YouTube. And I felt bad for just abandoning you, whether or not you actually care is down to you, uh, but I did feel like I needed to come back and just say hello, check in. Um, I would like to make more videos very, very soon. I have got a little couple of ideas in the works, but I'm not too sure yet. But really, I just wanted to check in, say hey, let you know I'm alive, show you my fabulous new hair, real slim shady jokes, etc. in the comments below. Um, and fingers crossed, I will see you very soon with another video, although I'm not promising anything because I don't want to let you down. Uh, but if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you're happy to see me back, whether it be on Instagram, Twitter, or in the comments, whatever. Hopefully see you again soon. Goodbye.